You called to see us, Mr. Bossman, sir? Boys, we need to have a talk about the popularity of CMS Gaming. But everything was going so good. It took you two years to get 300 subscribers. Yeah, but we've been making great progress in the last few months. Not good enough, boys. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you two go. I'll be doing the reviews from here on out. Now that they are gone, we can finally get some decent games in this here channel. Let's see. Ah yes, Cats for Game Boy Color, one part of the Cats and Dogs games and the first in the Pets series. Apparently it was made by Mindscape and Sapphire. Because, you know, you need two production companies to make this kind of gem. I declare, I do declare, the music could have been a bit better. Well, I know this is just the Game Boy Color, but come on boys. You could have given me something to work with. I never really understood this human fascination with paw prints. I mean, think about it. It's just like somebody's telling you, stop, stop. Come to think about it, that's kind of something I wish they would have told me before I started playing this piece of shit. I guess I should start with buying a cat. Hmm, that's nice, Mindscape. Promoting slavery right from the get-go. Hmm, interesting fact. Boys and girls, in ancient Egypt there was also slavery, but uh, we owned people in that scenario. Hmm, Siamese. I do love me some conjoined cat action. Try? Why not when you can get to milk for free? A name, huh? Let's see. I'm gonna call this one Isis, because he's clearly a piece of shit. Speaking of shit, why is there a bucket full of it next to Isis? This game doesn't grasp cat life at all. Huh. What's this? A contract? Oh, I don't know about this, guys. Sounds like some pretty serious commitment right here. Ah well. Dear God, they gave me a reject. This cat is clearly emotionally unstable. Would you look at this? You can call the cat over and it will actually run towards your hand, which makes me wonder if the game developers ever actually own a cat, because you can't make a cat do jack shit. Much like a hooker on the street, you can pick up the cat, but unfortunately, you can't throw it to the floor. Well boys, I don't think there's a lot more to say about this game, so we might as well sit back, relax, and enjoy some serious catnip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, twerk for me, baby. Twerk for me, twerk for daddy. Apparently, this game is made by Crying Man Studios. What kind of fucking name is that? It's a fan-made RPG of the popular animated series Adventure Time, featuring the human boy Finn and his magical dog Jake. <laughs> 